General Relativity Hi, I'm Tamanna. Came with a new episode as per commitment in my previous episode, The Theory of General Relativity and Time is an Illusion. If you cannot explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. The famous quote of most intelligent person, the Einstein. General relativity was developed by Albert Einstein after 10 years of research, which simple tells gravitational attraction between masses results from the wrapping of space and time fabric by those masses. And this theory became the architect of our present modern classical physics. And to understand it briefly and simply, let us see my video, The Theory of General Relativity. And my request is, please see my before videos of classical and special relativity for a better understanding. Let's start. Please subscribe, like, and share my video. Your support will be my inspiration. Apple falling from the tree to ground or any object falling from top to bottom in earth instead of any force applied was a mystery for all human till a long time. 4th century BC, Greek philosopher Aristotle believed that Objects tend towards a point due to their inner gravitas. Gravitas means heaviness. He believed that Earth is the center of universe and every heavy thing has a nature to go to the center of the universe. And a light bodies such as the element fire move by their nature upward toward the inner surface of the sphere of the moon. In the 7th century, Brahmagupta spoke of gravity as an attractive force. In 11th century, Islamic physicist Abul Barkat al-Baghdadi explained gravitational acceleration. In 15th century, Galileo Galilei found that all objects tend to accelerate equally in free fall. In 16th century, when in Descartes, the great French philosopher proposed three laws of nature. The first law states that each thing, as far as is in its power, always remains in the same state, and that consequently, when it is once moved, it always continues to move. Robert Hooke's suggestion that there is a gravitational force which depends on the inverse square of the distance. And finally, in 1687, Newton published the first edition book about gravity, the Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. It means mathematical principles of natural philosophy, which hypothesized the inverse square law of universal gravitation. That is, gravitational force is an attraction force. And mathematically, force of gravity is proportional to mass of the first object multiplied mass of the second object divided by square of the center of distance between them. And this formula still working of a slow speed compared to speed of light in classical physics. Newton's law of gravity served well in explaining the behavior of the solar system. Until now, all the rocket missile system and landing in moon project working successfully under this postulation. But why it was necessary to develop a new theory of gravity? The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. I have no special talent. I'm only personally curious. The famous quote of most intelligent person, the
the Einstein. Special relativity works only for inertial frames moving relative to one another. If they are moving at constant speed, it cannot describe what happens if they are accelerating. Einstein wondered how to expand it to include such acceleration and allow for gravity, which causes acceleration and is, after all, everywhere. And the second is that Newton's theory violates special relativity, for it requires an unspecified action at a distance, through which any two objects, such as the Sun and Earth, instantaneously pull each other. No matter how far apart, however, instantaneous Response would require the gravitational interaction to propagate at infinite speed, which is impossible by special relativity, because anything as well as information also cannot go more than speed of light. But according to Newton, gravity can work at any distance at infinite speed. And this is not Einstein who would first told Newton was wrong. But Newton, who didn't describe how gravity works the way it does. And in reality, Newton was well aware of this when he said, Gravity must be caused by an agent acting constantly according to certain laws. But whether this agent be material or immaterial, I have left to the consideration of my readers. Let us understand a little bit more deeply how Newton's theory violates special relativity. The violation was the fifth consequence of special relativity, that is, universal speed limit. Take an example of Sun and Earth. We knew distance between Sun and Earth is 1496 lakhs kilometer or 9 to 9 lakhs miles. Then the light will take approximately 8 minutes to reach from Sun to Earth. And the Sun and Earth instantaneously pull each other with a force called gravity. Suppose Sun get vaporized and vanished at an instant without warning. Then we can know 8 minutes after the Sun vanish. Then what will be with Earth according to Newton? Newton theory told it will be immediately fly out from the orbit if it will free from the string of gravity. Because force of gravity acts instantaneously between massive body, no matter how much distance between them. But Einstein's special relativity told the speed of light is the universal speed limit and nothing can go faster than the light, even light, even information. So, how can force called gravity will go faster than light? How can Earth fly before the darkness coming due to sun disappeared? The genius goes for a deep thinking about the solutions on Earth dark. And after a 10 years of hard research, he discovered a new theory called general relativity, which is our present base of modern science. He told, gravity is not an unknown attraction force, which acts a string between massive object, but Gravity is its geometric nature which arises from the shape of space-time. The force acts due to bending of space-time. That means three-dimension space and one-dimension time are two real things or two strings which combine making a fabric-like trend which is called space-time which can bend, twist and wrap in present of massive object. It's as if matter weights down the fabric of space-time it is sitting in, creating a curve that causes other nearby matter to slide towards it. And the most important thing is the mass of an object decides how much the space-time will bend. If there is more mass, curvature will more, so that gravity will more. 
This curvature of cosmic fabric is called space-time, which decides how much time will slow on that reference frame compared to other reference frame, and the limit of that stretch is till the time will zero. Another thing is, gravity is the curvature of the universe caused by massive bodies which determines the path that objects travel. The curvature is dynamical, moving as those objects move. The more gravity, the slower you travel through time, and vice versa. Let us start the story how Einstein discovered the theory of general relativity. And it is the true story, what he explained in a lecture in 1922. That was Einstein's famous elevator thought experiment. Einstein was a technical expert class 3 at the Federal Office for Intellectual Property in Bern, Switzerland. Once Einstein was in his patent office in Bern, he saw that there was a construction work going on nearby building and a person going through an elevator for a construction purpose. Suddenly, a thought struck to him. If a man falls freely, he would not feel his weight. Then he went for more thinking and imagination. He thought a person standing in an elevator with a broken cable feels weightless as the enclosure falls freely towards earth. Because if he is not looking outside the elevator at his surroundings, he cannot determine that he is being pulled downward. The reason is that both he and the elevator accelerate downward at the same rate and so fall at exactly the same speed. And if he releases a ball from his hand, it will fall at the same rate, simply remaining where he releases it. Because Einstein knew a curious fact known in Newton's time, that no matter what the mass of an object it falls towards Earth with the same acceleration, ignoring air resistance of 9.8 meters per second squared. Newton explained this by postulating two types of mass. One is inertial mass, which resists motion and enters into his general laws of motion. And other is gravitational mass, which enters into his equation for the force of gravity. Newton explained that if the two masses were equal, then all objects would fall with that same gravitational acceleration. Take another imagination. Suppose the same person inside the elevator started at a motion exactly equal to the force of gravity, 9.8 meter per second square. The person stuck inside the elevator with no windows. Then, he will be unable to distinguish a gravitational field from acceleration because the downward pressure what he will feel due to earth pulling to him will be zero. Due to elevator accelerating upward, he will feel zero gravity. He couldn't tell the difference. And again, if we take an another imagination, if that person fall a ball towards floor and the ball is sinking towards the floor, he could not tell if that is going down to floor because he was at rest within a gravitational field and gravity pulling the ball down, or because the elevator is going upward so that its floor rose toward the ball. Or a simple Einstein told that if you were stuck inside an elevator and that is isolated from the outside world, you would not be able to tell whether an object is free fall inside it was being pulled down the, by Earth's gravity or pulled by the elevator accelerating rapidly. But a skydiving field Falling because due to the resistance of wind in atmosphere, he feels while falling. Einstein expressed these ideas within a given system without looking at other systems. 
It is impossible to distinguish between physical effects due to gravity and those due to acceleration. Or, according to Einstein, gravity and acceleration is the same thing. Wow! What an intelligent thought experiment to reveal the secret of nature and understand the gravity. But, if gravity and acceleration are same thing, then why this gravity is acting? He told, space is not nothing, but it is a real invisible thing like a three-dimensional elastic fabric, a real thing which is tied with time, which he gave a name four-dimensional space-time, and in present of mass, energy, and momentum space-time curved. And due to space-time curvature, gravity-like acceleration occur. Or simply, massive objects make a valley in space-time. When another motion object comes to that valley, it rolls towards the same to meet the massive object in a shortest route. And due to that, gravity occur. Newton thought that gravity was a force. Einstein showed that gravity arises from the shape of space-time. And the most important thing is, due to space-time is a same fabric. The fabric stretch for gravity which time becomes slow near higher gravity. General relativity is a very big chapter which cannot be explained in one episode. Therefore, Please see my upcoming video, General Relativity Part 2, which I have described more deeply and with its proof. Till now, thanks to watch my video.